Oh boy! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a very special day because that thing does not sound. Just, just drive it real quick. What is that, dude? That's gotta go. RJW. Freaking C, baby. They sent out some boxes. I did not know this at the time, but they actually make exhaust for the Honda. We got a couple of boxes from them. I don't know which one the exhaust is in. So let's tear into these bad boys. RJWC always puts these uh, fragile stickers on these boxes, but they're not even fragile. But let's go ahead. Let's rip into these bad boys. I don't know what's in here. I know they're saying something for the X3, and they're supposed to send stuff for the Honda. So let's just pray we actually got a Honda exhaust. I'm telling you guys, I don't have a clue what their Honda exhaust looks like. I have never seen it before. So uh, let's see what it is. There's a header. Nice. I want to see the meat within the potatoes. Yo, they sent a tuner, bro. I was wondering about that. Okay, here it is. Here's the meat, baby. Dude. Okay, that's pretty sick. Let's get this thing out of here. Check this thing out, dude. That's that, probably the nicest Honda exhaust I've ever seen. That looks good. Bro, right? That I can never get over their weld, dude. Oh my god. Look at that. It's so crisp. <gasps> see you. I can see you. I don't have a clue what's in this, so I just want to take a little peek. What is it? What I knew we had all the stuff. What is it? There's some shirt. There's some shirt. Oh my gosh. Oh, can't show you guys this stuff. Dude. What? I want to see. Let me see. No. Let me see. No, 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 no. Bro, this is like the brand new stuff they just came out with. This is like a total. Classified? Thing. Highly classified. All right, I'm going to stick these back in here. This is for another video. Sorry, RJWC. I didn't mean to open it right now. I got excited. So this exhaust actually mounts up right here. Shouldn't be too hard to install. Look at this ugly stock exhaust. That's got to get, man. It's got to go. I'm so glad we got the tuner for it. It actually might open this thing up and uh, give her some pow. <laughs> some pow, pow, baby. All right, we're going to start tearing this thing apart and uh, getting this exhaust out because uh, I have no clue what this is going to sound like. Hope it sounds meaty. Let's go. <laughs> It's like we still can't get it out. Oh, yeah. You got it. Ta -da! There it is. Piece of cake, dude. You shark could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Why are you using my brand new gloves? Jeez, you owe me a pair of gloves. Got your hat. <laughs> got your hat. Got your hat. Hey, we got him, boys. We got him. Alright, boys, the exhaust is on. Let's see what she sounds like. Ooh. That's not bad. Oh. I was expecting it to be way louder. Dang. Oh, oh, not the lemonade! aftermarket exhaust for a Honda I've ever heard. 110 percent. Yeah, no, I was expecting this. Okay, like not coming at RJWC, coming at any Honda or any manufacturer that make Honda exhaust. They all sound like, like they're just clapped out. Like, but that sounds good. Nice tone. Yeah. Very nice it's delivery. very like yeah, yeah, no doubt. No, that's awesome, bro. Okay, we gotta hook up the tuner. We can throw it all back together and go go get a rip. I'm ready to see what it sounds like when you're riding it. Here's your tuner. I'm not a big fan of plug-in tuners, but I don't think Cody Sorrell does tunes for the uh for the honda <laughs> so now we had a rjwc tuner this basically exact tuner on the polaris that we exploded it actually held up really good and it was the only thing left working on it until the explosion yeah we need to figure out how to plug this thing up it shouldn't be too hard i've done one on a honda before so i'm gonna say you unplug this give me some dielectric, uh, dielectric grease. grease you should have known what i was gonna say before i even said it kid <laughs> Put some dielectric grease on that. Plug her in. What a boom. What a bam. Now this one. Dielectric grease me. Oh, oh nice catch. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pop it back in. Oh we got the tuner plugged up. She's flashing. She's good to go. We're going to go ahead and throw the plastics back on it. And then we're going to mount this tuner right here where we can see it so we can watch and see what it does. I need the plastics. Plastics! Oh, uh, yeah! Now it looks 
fucking four wheel. And voila. That is beautiful, other than that's some thick Velcro. We're gonna have to do something about this Velcro being so thick. Take this Velcro out. If you guys need good Velcro, Velcro is good for everything. This uh, scotch, extremely strong. They used Velcro to hold together the Velcro. <laughs> Look at that. That stuff, this stuff right here, boys, it's a lifesaver. We use it on everything. But uh, who the fuck did that? Christian, you're fired. Everything's good to rock and roll, baby. We got the tuner hooked up. We got the exhaust on, and the uh, only thing left to go do, go rip, see how this tuner performs, see how this exhaust opens it up. Go make sure everything's watertight, waterproof. Maybe it'll idle underwater now. Who knows, but uh, I'm just excited to go rip. I cannot wait to hear how this thing sounds. Switch it into GoPro. I'm curious to see how it sounds shifting through gears and automatic, so we'll see. Oh my God! It sounds so good. This is the best sounding Honda, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Yo, this is the best sounding Honda, hands down. Did it sound good? Yeah, you want me to ride it down the driveway so you yeah, can hear it? Yeah, go for it. Bro, I love that. Dude, I'm so happy with it right now. We actually fixed the check engine light. The rollover sensor somehow got unplugged. I plugged that back up and uh, it's now reading it. And so there's no more check engine light. O2 sensor delete with this exhaust. What? That sounds amazing. I wonder how it sounds on camera, but like, I've never heard a Honda sound better. I hope the camera does it justice. Yeah, no, that sounds really good. RJWC, y'all freaking killed it on this thing. That sounds so good. RJWC killed it, bro. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be like every other Honda exhaust. You know, just loud and obnoxious. Dude, that is, that is right. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to go ride. Christian, come catch up so we can go into the swamp. Then boy. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so impressed with this thing right now. RJWC absolutely killed it. Squirrel! <laughs> Squirrel, there's another one. RJWC absolutely killed it. This thing sounds amazing. The tuner, I'm... You know, with the, with the plug-in tuners, you gotta worry about getting water into them, and a lot of people will put them in a box, like a waterproof case. I don't really like that. I'm gonna see how long. I'm gonna put this one through the test. The one on the Polaris did extremely good. Even though it was submerged underwater for so long, it never stopped working. So we're gonna see how long this one lasts. If it lasts a year, I'm happy. Let's just do a little pull for this, see how this tuner is. It's still a Honda, still slow, but uh, at least it sounds good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm a third manual. My old exhaust on my Foreman on 500, it was a uh, HMF and it was just loud and obnoxious. And finally I was like, screw that, I'm taking it off. And I took it off and put the stock back on it. Like this thing ain't like crazy loud. It's loud, but it's not like crazy loud. It's one of those exhausts, if you want to be quiet, you can be quiet. Like this right here is super quiet. When you get on it, it livens up and it sounds sounds mean. 150% hands down. If you guys have a Honda and have a little money to spend and you want to do a mod to it, RJWC exhaust. You won't regret it. I do think it's a little funky how it's got that that swing out that side roll right here instead of just straight out but uh that's not a big deal it'll grow on me but uh that was the first thing that i noticed is like eh. everything else is amazing man and it's that's literally not a big deal at all all right let's put her in the swamp all right two wheel drive oh we need to go low this sounds so good <laughs> go ahead third four wheel four wheel pill The little Honda, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Go back down. Look at that thing. Look at it rumble. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, man. Wow, it's deep. See if we can't turn it back over and go the other way. Wow, it's deep. Is it going to idle? Sounds like it'll idle underwater now. <laughs> Dude, does it not sound so good? Put her in neutral. Oh. <laughs> 
See if it idles. Exhaust is under. But I mean, it was idling right there. I gotta see if I can't, I can't, for some reason I can't get out that way. See, why is it trying to make me go that way? Woo! I wanna go out that way, but it's not letting me. There it is, it's going now. We've yet to put a winch on this four-wheeler. We gotta put a winch on it. I want a mud strap so bad for working the Honda back and forth. I <laughs> love the Honda. These 30s are a little heavy for it, I can tell. I feel like I've been in this hole for so long. Let's see if we can get out. I think that we got it now. <laughs> that was a little one up there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, just a wee bit. Oh, wow, you can watch your throttle on this tuner. Like there's full throttle, let off. There's it just idling on one. That's interesting. All right, baby, pull. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, baby. There it is. Oh man, that one was hard to get out of. It took forever to get out of the swamp. <laughs> yes, sir. The little Honda. Yeah, guys, I am really, I'm super thrilled with this exhaust. Like the RJWC always overperforms, but uh, this is just, they absolutely killed it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Honda boat. Hey, I think I'm gonna head to the pond. Dude, I'm so ready for this, see, the, hear this thing in the pond. This thing's gonna be a beast in the pond. All right, let's see if we can get up. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Come on, baby. There it is. Definitely, you can hear the motor kind of struggling to pull these 30s. If they had a gear reduction, that won't be an issue. But I don't think they came out with a gear reduction for this model yet. And it definitely needs a gear reduction or some lighter tires. I'm thinking Aztecs. I keep hearing people say Aztecs are the lightest tire. So I was like, all right, sweet. Put light tires on the uh, Honda so it can pull them. But the same people hit me with, well, they're crappy on Honda because they, they make the Honda float. And like to me, like, okay, I get you don't want the Honda to float, but it's got to be able to pull those tires. And so I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I would like to get a pair of Aztecs or a set of Aztecs and try them out for myself. As you guys know, I don't like taking other people's word for things. I like to test things out myself. That's kind of on the list of things to do. Get a set of Aztecs and see what they do on what machines. Before we go into the pond, we'll do a quick snorkel test. Go ahead and make sure we don't have a leak in the snorkel. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Let's see, there's about double that. That's nothing. Man, when I snorkel this thing, I snorkeled it right, baby. All right, Honda in the pond. Let's go ahead and see it. <laughs> oh, I love taking it deep. Absolutely love taking it deep. Does seem a little floaty. Where are we going? I want to go left, bro. Go left. There we go. Hey, I'm going deep, deep. You got to go deep, deep. We're on the Honda, baby. It's a boat. It's more of a submarine, but uh, we'll call it a boat. <laughs> we have gotten more rain, so it's probably deeper. Yeah, that's pretty deep. The tuner's under. We'll see how it holds up. I mean, that's on bottom. <laughs> Hello. Bye-bye. Hello. Bye-bye. That's pretty deep, man. We're over bars. I hope we don't get water in this headlight right here. Oh, that water's warm. Ugh, that feels weird. This this Honda actually sits very tall. I mean, it is a two and a half inch lift in the front on 30s. I mean, it's not like some small Honda. I mean, we're going up, to, I mean, right there over the handlebars. I do wish we had some deeper water to go mess around in. But this pond is the perfect height for this four-wheeler. Like when I say the perfect height, I mean, it could use maybe an inch more of water, but like, that's it. It is the perfect height. It's a boat! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get watered by waders. See, that tuner's still running. It's gotta be somewhat waterproof. Everything's under. Up, oh, up, oh, we gotta go, we gotta find something a little deeper. That's not under. No, come on, go under. We'll find something a little deeper. It's a boat. Oh, that, see, why is the water cold right here, but warm over there? That's just strange. It's freezing cold right here. It must be muddy right here, bro. I'm barely moving. <laughs> I'm in love with the Honda. Has the tuner like increased the performance of the Honda? Not really. I can't feel a big difference, but you know, there's not much you can do to these Hondas other than like supercharge them. Supercharge the 570? 520? 520, yeah. Supercharge it? Yeah, no, I met a guy that supercharged his and he said he was pushing 47 rear wheel horsepower on a dyno. Really? Kind of want to do it to this. 
47 horsepower? You know this is like 25, right? Maybe in the future? Maybe in the future, baby. 30,000 likes? Let's uh, send it. <laughs> the rev bomb. You gotta love the rev bomb. Hello, that might be a little deep. All right. Oh, yep, everything's under other than the snorkel. There we go, son. Look at that. You can still see the key floaty. Look at how close. This piece isn't glued on. I wish I could pull it off to show you guys because it's only like that far from taking on water. <laughs> But now we do have a Honda video coming up where it's like nobody's ever took a Honda this deep, okay? I'm just saying. You guys are going to want to stay tuned for that one. It's probably going to be one of the wildest videos of this year. And uh, we haven't filmed it yet. We're getting supplies to do it. And uh, we might have already picked up the machine to do it. So you guys are going to stay tuned for that. I'm getting water in my dash. That's stupid. But uh, it's going to be freaking wild. Dude, that's snake skin. Bro, that is literally... Come here. No! Dude, that's snake skin. <laughs> Where's that snake at? <laughs> There's a water mock skin in here or something, dude. We're just gonna back on out. We're just gonna go ahead and skidoo out of here. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a snake in my waders. Could you imagine, bro? Literally a snake in my waders. You'd be pulling off your waders, waders as fast as you could. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, snorkel. I need to go ahead and glue this top piece so uh, we can actually take it like right there. Cause that's a lot closer. Yeah, we're probably getting water in it now. Literally, it, it, the right here's the line of how deep I can go. Cause this, this top piece ain't glued. We need a bigger pond. Yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and put some different tires on this puppy. I think this thing would be a lot meaner with some different tires. But literally, I'm so happy. I got an $80 uh, rollover sensor in the house to fix that check engine light that's no longer flashing. So if anyone wants a rollover sensor, I got one guys. Oh shit! <laughs> it cut off! That was sketchy! Dude, it had to cut off at least once in this video. Yeah, no, I was just sitting there freaking talking. And bro, did you see me? When I started back up and it was in reverse, I about dipped the snorkel yes. under. <laughs> just guess, how long was I underwater for? How long do you think the Honda was underwater in the last 25 minutes? Probably like 24 minutes, right? Let's check this air box. Submerged in water for 25 minutes. Let's see. Literally just been cruising around the pond. That much water. Wow, dude. Bro, we did a good job on That's this. That's impressive. Snorkel. If anybody needs a snorkel job done. No. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not do that. And we need to buy another fooler and do a how-to snorkel. I don't know. The high lifter snorkel kit we put on this thing absolutely killed it. Very happy with it. But at the end of the day, it damn sure would have been cheaper just to do PVC almost as fast well guys if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe uh we got some great things coming and i'm talking about going deep we're talking about eight and a half foot deep christian your face dude yeah i kind of i kind of mentioned something about it it's gonna be something that no one's ever seen before it's gonna be super cool uh like i said we already gathered in some of the supplies for it and uh i might have to order a scuba tank yeah did you not know that no yeah, no, I was thinking about ordering a scuba tank. Dude. No, there's some on Amazon for like 500 bucks. We might have to do it. Bro, they don't even know what's coming. And that's, the boat, the Honda that's boat. Right. That's yeah, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got some great things coming. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm excited about it. Uh, this exhaust, absolutely killer. I am, if I had to rate it 10 out of 10, I'm giving it a 12 out of 10. Like, yeah. I like it that much. Compared to everything else I've tried, and I've tried, you know, a mini exhaust, and I've heard a ton of exhaust. That's the best sound in Honda exhaust. Big thank you and shout out to RJWC. Thanks for hooking it up. You know, RJWC guys always hooking us up and uh man i i love their products that is one great company some great guys over there in sweden yeah the company is based out of sweden if you guys didn't know but uh big shout out to them and uh, guys if you would please hit the thumbs up button go ahead like subscribe tell me what you think about the exhaust down in the comments what else should we do to the honda quick overview we did the snorkel setup cleanest snorkel setup on the market. We did the Haze Fab lights. Big shout out of them. You guys didn't see that, but they sent the lights in. They got them here before the Busco Beach Crunch, before Mud Bash Crunch. And uh, they literally, you didn't know how easy it was to install them. Uh-uh. Four Phillips heads. Really? Four. When you're taking them apart, there's two 10 millimeter bolts, but when you put them back in, there's just four Phillips head, plug and play, done. Bro. I, you can take them in and out in six minutes. Absolutely crazy. Big shout out to Hayes Fab. I'll have them linked in the description as well. And the RJWC exhaust, the tuner. I think the Honda builds came out beautiful, um, but maybe it's time for wheels and tires. We did do a lift in the front as well. I'm thinking wheels and tires. I mean, that's the only thing I could think that's left. Maybe a dry box and a light bar or sound bar or something. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Guys, like, subscribe, and we will catch y'all on the next one. Yeah.